Hi everyone, it's Amber here with yet another Dollar Tree haul. This will be number five because I have a problem. Um, hi baby. Oh no, this is Ellie. It's my little girl. Say hi. And Sirius just wandered in. They're coming to see what all the stuff is in here. Oh, ow. Um, sorry for that break for cuteness. I got 52 items, uh, 51, one was a Diet Pepsi, so delicious. I actually gave up drinking pop a while ago, so let me just take a swig. Um, I needed some caffeine. So I got a couple bigger items, so they're sitting over here. So the first thing I got was just this cabinet shelf, um, you know, just the simple one. I need it for my makeup area over there. That's a lot of what I got is kind of related to that because it's so it needs to be organized better. I told my husband I want to get like some cubes or something that I can put stuff on because there's stuff I don't use all the time and then there's stuff that I use more often and so it would be nice to have a space and like to be able to better separate that stuff. Right now it's a table. Um, let me, it's going to be a little blurry, but I'll show you like, oh, and you can see yourself on my computer. See right now it's a table with some Windex, but it's not very well organized because it's hard since it's a smaller area to, um, let me scoot you. I moved you too far. Oops, sorry. Um, it's hard because it's a smaller area. So it's, um, it's just, it's hard. Ooh, who wanted to look at my giant fat fingers? And, uh, you can see my lips are really dry today and I have a zit. I have no makeup on. I don't care. Um, the other thing I got was this corner shelf and I'm going to use that to put my makeup mirror on, which is over here providing light. Um, I bought this. This Dollar Tree had these. It's just one of the bigger, like, longer ones. If you look behind me, you can see that, um, the, like, wicker basket with the pallets in it. There's one there, and then there's one over behind the plant. I have two separate ones for pallets because they don't all fit in there, so I'm hoping that they will fit in this one, and then I only have to find a spot for one. Um, so I also got two more of these things. I held them before. I figured they're a dollar. You saw I have the two cats. My mother-in-law has two cats. We have a dog with long hair and I shed because I have crappy hair. Our house is dusty. There's no way around it and I hate to dust. So this I'm hoping will help me with dusting. Let me toss that over there. Um, I also picked up a pack of 40 meat envelopes. The other day, um, Karen, my mother-in-law asked me if I had any long envelopes and I only have short ones. Um, so ooh, I'm dropping stuff. So I just grabbed a box while I was there. Let me pause this so I can see who was calling me. Okay. Sorry. Um, I also picked up a pack of the, uh, it was a bonus five pack of the scrub buddies, heavy duty scouring pads. I said before my other haul, when I hauled two of these, which I got another one of the soap savers, um, that are, we have well water. And so we have like a corner shelf in our shower for all of our soaps and stuff. And we all use bar soap. So I want to use the pads to really just clean the rust off as best as I can and then put this, the pads down and then hopefully it won't be as bad because I'll have the soap savers and stuff. It's just, I think it's one of those areas in the shower that gets neglected. Like we clean, the walls and the floor and the bench and everything, but how often do you take everything off of the shelf and clean under that? You know what I mean? So that's why I got that. Um, I bought a combination lock. I don't know how well it will work. We have lockers at work and I don't have anything of value in there, but I would still like a lock so that, you know, if I put my purse in there, no one's stealing it. Um, I bought this pretty gold clip. I'm going to use it to make, um, along with all the other clips that I've hauled to make uh, a, like a paper clip for my binder. 
So there's that. And then already paper clips were these set of six flag paper clips from Jot. I really like the one that my fingers buy, this one. I think the colors are just stunning. These ones are nice. These ones are nice too, but I love the color of that one. Um, I You could probably make these yourself. It was kind of a like a impulse buy, if you will. Um, I bought four of these, making sure that there's not a glare and you can see them. Um, I'm probably going to use these, like put a dot down in my planner and then write what I have to do, like what my task is. So I bought four packs of them and then I bought um, these, they're little sea creatures. I love the octopus and the uh, jellyfish. I think they're so cute. Um, we're going to Florida in June, so, you know, you got to commemorate somehow. And then I bought um, the dinosaurs because I'm apparently a child and I love dinosaurs. So I got those. Those were the only stickers that I didn't have that I liked. This Dollar Tree didn't have a lot in the way of stickers, but this Dollar Tree is the one that has the acrylic organizing thing. So I got five more of these drawers. Just, I don't even know that I need five right now, but because I've been looking for them for months and no one's had them and all of a sudden this one did, I figured it's not going to hurt me to get extra and then when I need them, I have them. Whereas if I need them and they're gone, what do I do then? Um, and I picked up two more of the rectangular ones. I, um... I just, I need to do something different with that area. And maybe I'll do a post on what I do. I don't know. And then I picked up three of these ones. They have the, um, they're the divided ones. That's upside down. So I just got three of those. I'm not even sure yet what I'll put in all of them. But, again, I'd rather have them and just have them sit than not. I picked up two of these uh, microfiber cleaning towels. It's a bonus pack, so there's three. They're both in blue. When I walked in, they were by, like, the, um, the ice cube trays and stuff in the seasonal colors. I picked up four bunches of these purple roses. Um, trying to, I think they're so pretty. Purple's my favorite color. Um, gonna put them in a vase. I put the lilacs in there and I think they just look stunning. I think they look amazing. So I saw those and I picked them up. I had seen someone, I think it was Remington, who hauled or I don't know if she even hauled them or if she just saw them in her Dollar Tree, but they were like ombre purple. Yeah, mine don't have those. Um, I picked up three of these flip top containers. I don't 100% know what I'm going to use these for, but we buy a lot of bulk spices from Penzies. So maybe I'll put some of them in there, like the stuff that we don't necessarily um, just sprinkle on what we measure out, which is honestly a lot of it. And I think there's a cat behind me. It's the dog. He's probably looking for plastic bags to chew. Um, I picked up this Touch of Love Blackberry and Lilac Scented Body Lotion from April Bath and Shower. You can see it, yeah. It does not smell like lilac. It smells more like blackberry. But it smells really good, and I tried it on, and it's not, like, super thick and creamy, but it's not super watery like some dollar store lotions can be. So it's definitely good if you just want to kind of moisturize your skin. Um, but it's not good if like you need deep moisturizing of the skin. This is not what you're looking for. But if you just want to keep it like at your desk, rub it on, or you just want to add scent, that's perfect. And it's not a super strong scent either. Um, we're almost done. The rest of the stuff that I got is nail polish and lipstick. So these are Miracle Nail and Super Dry. I saw them hanging. I've never tried them. The, um, the Miracle Nail has directions on the back. So for weeks one and two, start with clean nails. Apply one coat daily and remove at the end of each week with a non-acetone remover. For weeks three and four, apply to a clean nail three times a week and remove at the end of each week. Thereafter, use as a base coat under your favorite enamel and you you will grow nails perfectly. I figured for, my nails grow fine. Can see. I figured for a dollar I'd try it. And the super dry says just to apply it over wet enamel and it will dry the enamel all the way through to a nice hard shine. And when used between manicures, it will brighten your enamel and will dry in 60 seconds or less. So 
I figured I'd give it a shot, see how it works. If it doesn't work, it was only a buck. Not a big deal. Um, and then I also picked up, so what's on my nails right now is um, one of the Dollar Tree polishes. Well, the LA, what is it? Yeah, LA Colors Color Craze. It's called Hottie. I don't remember the numbers of it. And then it's the gold sparkle over that. So that's what's on right now. I'd had Zoya on before this, and the very next day after I applied it, it was chipping. I know. So the first color I got is number 409, and it is called Live. And it's a solid shil silver shilver. So it's more metallic-y than anything. So I'm kind of excited about that. Um, I got... $7.99, which is called Gold Rush. And again, it's a solid, it's not glitter, so it's more metallic-y. I think those will be just gorgeous in the summer, assuming I can get a tan. Um, I got $5.16, which is called Absolute. It's a hot pink. I thought this would be fun for um, like pedicures and stuff. I picked up number 417 in Nuclear Energy. And so purple is my favorite color. This is a nice grape purple to me. That, it reminds me of grape jelly. Um, I picked up 424, and it is called Wired, and it's almost a metallic-y blue. It's very pretty. I'm excited about that. Um, I picked up 682, which is Greek Isles, which is like a metallic-y, I don't know, turquoise. Hi, kitty. Turquoise or teal. I don't know what color you would call that. And then the counterpart to this is 420 Atomic. And these two are almost identical, except the one is um, metallic-y. You can see the color is almost the same. And then the last one that I picked up is number 527, and it's called Delicate. And I thought that was great for nails. You want a color on, but you don't want anything showy. Um, the last two things I got are lip colors. Um, this one is mauve glaze. And I will draw it on my finger or my hand. So this is what it looks like. And then on, ooh, ooh, this is what it looks like. And then the other one is called Frozen Berries. I'm still looking for one that um, I wrote down that I have a Dollar Tree shopping list. You guys. You guys. Let me get this open. But I have a Dollar Tree shopping list. Um, so this is Frozen Berries. It's a very dark purpley shade. Oh, but it's not super dark when you draw it on. That, I like that because then you can build it up, but it's also sheer, so... It's not going to like take over. So that's the frozen berries. I think they're both gorgeous shades. Um, I'm excited to play with them. The other ones that I want, I think they're in this book. Maybe not. No, this has a, a lunch list in it for stuff to make for my lunches. Yeah. Gotta love the, gotta love the Dollar Tree shopping list. In my Dollar Tree book. Um, I am still looking for Luscious Wine. I've seen Sorbet, but I'm, uh, no. And then um, they didn't have very much in the way of lip glosses. I had the three that they had. And then I'm still looking for um, the fake succulents. I only found them at Valpo, which that means nothing to you guys. But the store that I found them at is actually the one I'm hoping to stop at tomorrow. So maybe I'll be able to get more. Um, I haven't seen any of the hobnail stuff, either their, their milk glass type or the clear, and I want some of that so bad, and I can't find it anywhere. Um, I've seen some people hauling bath fizzies. I haven't been able to find those. I would like to, but I haven't been able to. Um, I Also, more stickers, because you can never have too many stickers. Am I right? I'm right. And then... Um, I want to just see if, like, if there's anything new at the other one that I'm going to stop at. So you'll probably get another haul soon. Um, these will not be a regular occurrence because I'm pretty sure my husband's ready to divorce me over them. So, hi, what are you doing? 
the cat. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here. They're so weirdly skittish around people. Like, they will hide and hide and hide. But they love to cuddle. Like, he woke me up this morning at, like, 4 because he wanted me to snuggle with him. And, like, that's cute and all, but it was 4 in the morning. There he goes. Bye, Sirius. He's like, that's nice. Um, But they're so afraid of people, and I don't know if someone abused them or not. We, When I found them, it was November of 2014, and it was, like, 3 or 4 in the morning, and I went out to the garage, and there's like, a little ball a gray ball of fur with, um, hi, Yuri, with a tomato soup can on their head. I was like, what the heck? So I pulled it off and it was a little gray kitten, Ellie, briefly saw her. And I was like, oh my God, there's kittens in the, or kitten in the garage. So I put out some food and water and it was also really cold that November. I mean, freezing cold. Well, then there was a black kitten in the garage too. And I was like, oh my God, siblings. And I got real excited. Hi. Hello. And I would sit out there almost every single day for hours at a time, just trying to get them to warm up. We finally were able to cap capture Ellie. They were on um, underneath the hood of Karen's car, but we didn't get serious until a month later. And the first night that she was in, she was just crying. And I just laid on the floor, like looking at her sobbing. She wouldn't come to me, but I felt like just a monster for separating them. And so we finally got him in. We had to leave the kitchen door open and that, hi, Sirius. And that connects to, he's like, what the hell is all this stuff? That connects to the, um, the kitchen door goes into the garage. So he came in. What are you doing? They're so weird. So he came in the house finally. And then that night he had kind of warmed up to us and was, you know, snuggling and stuff like that. And they're just super snuggly, but they will not go around other people. They're just terrified of them. And I don't know why. So if someone comes over, they hide, they won't come out. Um, my sister's been able to glimpse them a couple times. I think my mom's seen them a couple times, but I have to like hold them down on the bed so they can catch a glimpse of them. So I don't know what happened to them that they're like that, but it, it honestly kind of pisses me off because it's one thing to be a little skittish, but they're like downright terrified of other people. So I want to know what someone did to them other than, you know, dump them off on the side of the road when they were little kittens. I mean, she was like this big, she was so tiny and, uh, they were just little kittens and it was freezing cold. And if they hadn't wandered into our garage, who knows what would have happened to them. We live in the country. So it's people fly down our road. They could have been hit. It just, Oh, it irritates me. Um, but anyway, now that I've ranted about my cats and you've met my children, my cat cats. Um, it's the end of this haul. If I go tomorrow, I will do another haul. Um, I'm looking for these more of these. I love these. And I'd kind of like, I only got this one in white, but now I kind of wish that I'd gotten some of the other colors. And there's a couple people that I think I might want to give one of these to. So I want to see if they have it. And that's the same thing with this. There's a couple people that I want to gift one of these to. So I need to go and look and see if I can find it. Um, and then if I find it, like I might get some green nail polish since this one didn't have any. I don't know. But as always, if I find anything and I buy it, I will do another haul. Um, might not be a 19 minute haul because I'm probably not going to spend $52, but I'll do a video nonetheless. So I hope that you enjoyed this haul. If you want to see any specific type of videos, just let me know in the comments down below and give this a thumbs up if you liked it. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.